Ano naman na ako?
So, regarding your question about the uh, written prescriptions or orders of doctor, uh, once you know naman the case of your patient and uh, you know the necessary and the proper interventions of the patient, at madalas mo na rin na-encounter, ano ba yung mga orders na yun, manilangan ka. In case na hindi mo paintindihan talaga, there's nothing wrong in asking the physician itself. So, salamat po. So, ang sunod po namin katanungan ay uh, para po may, uh, may bigay nyo lahat yung mga aming mga information na kayo na gusto namin mga yan. No? Sa nalimbawa po sa pagkakataon ng uh, tinatawag natin telephony or phone call, yung pagbibigay ng uh, doctor's order po. So, ano lang po yung gusto nyo uh, maibahagay nyo para maintindihan din namin bilang isang mga mga yan? Yung phone calls or telephone orders by the doctor, um, kasi usually, uh, if the case of the patient is emergency and the patient is still not in the hospital at kailangan na magkailan ng order, uh, we uh, accept those orders provided na ito document natin yun sa chart ng patient and then uh, we let the physician sign in uh, within 24 hours. Okay po, so sa at this point, uh, we will um, also consider our visitors who are over there because we have some questions regarding that matter. So, uh, okay. Mr. David Ariola, uh, what are the in that cases, uh, nakasalalim dyan siyempre yung safety ng patient. Tsaka sabi ko nga, di ba, we are partners of the physician and I know most of the physicians naman, they are open to uh, constructive ano, cases and tsaka yung mga corrections. Kasi isa lang naman ang goal natin na at ng provide quality care. So in case na kung may pagkakamali man yung physician, we can uh, tell him na uh, do, uh, Parang may mali po, kulang po yung, ano ba, yung cost. Sa, uh, uh, in that way, uh, we will prevent na ma-risk yung buhay ng patient. Okay, thank you po. Okay, so, balik tayo sa uh, ward setting. Um, let's say, for example po, Mr. Ariola, meron po kayong doctor's order na dapat yung i-carry out. That, that hour, and then when you go to the particular, when you go to a particular patient, the patient refuse to, to take the medicine. So, paano po, paano po yun gawin, or kaya ano naman hindi pa ilong yun, or just like to uh, kunin mo yung uh, opinion ng pasyente. Okay, doon naman sa pag-refuse ng patient, Also, nakalasa at sa patient's bill of rights na they have the right to refuse. Uh, kailangan pa rin natin i-explore why the patient is refusing for that certain kind of medication. In that case, uh, kailangan natin siyang sabihin yung uh, risk na pwede mangyari. Uh, yung times naman na uh, pwede siguro wala lang siya sa hood para minum ng gabon, uh, mag-refuse siya, you can uh, Tell the patient na you can go back later. Kung gusto niya, kung willing na siya minumin ng gamot, then give the medicine. If the patient refuses to uh, take the medicine three times, that's the time when you notify the doctor about the patient's uh, refusal. Tsaka ito ang document na din doon sa China. Okay, thank you very much po, Mr. Ariola. And then now, as we sum up, Just like to say thank you for the substantial messages and information that we got. And now, as we end our um, our bottom line, of course we have um, critical questions that we want to um, throw to you. So this question goes like this. So pag, um, sa ngayon, dahil po sa pataas na yung prosyento, percentage ng nurses na dito sa Pilipinas na walang trabaho o gusto magkaroon ng trabaho, ano po yung gusto nyo na may advice 
ng mga pag-uhang nurses na magtatrabaho sa gusto magtatrabaho sa, sa, sa hospital para naman uh, makapaghanda po sila.